The following is a production of Dirty Mo Media. Y'all like Denny Hamlin. He's coming on. He's coming around. Yeah. I think they like him. I think your favorite moment is when you're arguing with me. You seem to really enjoy that part. But hey, hey, for the Bussin fans out there, here we go. Look at him. <laughs> you got to get the punts that's in. Where am I at? Right He's here? still got it. I'm going off script, but who doesn't think Amy needs her own show? I think Amy ought to have her own show. So this has been a decade in the making. Me and him have probably texted back and forth around 100 times that we're going to get a beer together. So y'all are watching oh, us have it? our first beer. This is the first beer. Right on. Yes, sir. Right on. We still got to get out to that secret town you say you got. I oh, envisioned. You there. No. Oh, man. Well, I envisioned us, you know, me coming into town, whether it's for busting with the boys or coming out for the fairgrounds or doing something, and us having a guy's night out on the Broadway, you know, or getting a babysitter and hitting the street. Because <laughs> y'all both need one, right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so we still got to do that. We do still need yeah. to get a drink. You still, you still. We got to have a night. You we got to have a night. You still I need a Dale shape. story. Do what? You still in game shape? I know being a dad's kind of tough. You don't get game the, shape's different. I work out. I still work out a lot. I mean drinking do, beers. Oh, game shape. We got beer Olympics next week, next beer, Tuesday. Do you? We're doing a beer Olympics. Bustin's hosting a beer Olympics, so we're gonna be throwing some beer down. All right. Well, that's good. Wait, wait, you wait. still got how much? You got a gas tank on you still? I'm good to go, man. When I I, I could turn it on anytime. This man right here says he's won money off of your advice on Dirty Mode. He believes in the system. <laughs> we have a system. We have a system. That's it. That's your guy. I've been trying to tell you for years that we needed to do that show. I'm glad you finally listened. I am just now starting my NASCAR season because I work for NBC and we don't work the first half of the year. Must be nice. So it's hard for me to look some of the NASCAR drivers in the eyes because they're halfway through the season and they're pretty much uh, in the middle of the grind. And I'm like, hey, man, fresh off vacation. How's it going? Yeah. How's I, it going? I've been at the beach for two weeks. Alex, what's going on? I did take four <laughs> weeks off. I so I, I did. I wouldn't call it a vacation, though. <laughs> yeah, it was not a vacation, <laughs> but four weeks were taken off. I think that you can hate Denny, but still listen to the podcast. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause, That's all we care about. Because Denny's going to say something crazy. And, uh, I mean, hell, he said a few things that got his ass in trouble this year. Some people are probably sitting out there like, yo, who's f***ing Will Compton? How do him and Dale know each other? The boy, yes. <laughs> so I played for Washington. Dale loves Washington. Yeah. My story, I was an undrafted free agent. I was on practice squad my entire first year. My second year, I got to start a few games. My third year, I took over and became the starter when we won the uh, NFC yeah. East. But when we're going through that year, we're kind of coming back. That was the Kirk Cousins you liked that year. And oh, uh, yeah, right. bro. And we were having fun that year. Yeah, and right. I got followed by Kevin Durant on Twitter. And mind you, I'm now starting in the NFL childhood dream. Like, I'm like, yo, we're <laughs> doing it, boys. <laughs> and uh, I see that Kevin Durant follows me because he was a Redskins fan. And I'm thinking, Holy shit, like this is insane. Like I was on, I got my first sack, my first and only sack in my entire career. I hit like a dab, like I'm always like dancing and trying to have fun. But I find out in an article, a uh, news article that Dale was following me saying like, oh, he's got funny tweets or something like that. And I'm thinking, Dale Jr. is following me on Twitter. I follow back, we go back and forth cause I'm like, hey man, big fan, blah, blah, blah. He's like, oh, I love what you, we'll love what you do. Yeah, I love your Twitter. And uh, the next year in OTAs, Dale DMs me a photo of himself saying, hey, good luck at OTAs like this. And I'm thinking, he knows how to take a selfie? <laughs> and, and I'm thinking like, man, this is the coolest thing in the I don't know how much we can cuss out, but I know you're yeah, a father. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, man, this is the coolest thing in the world that I'm interacting with Dale. And so I'm like, hey, thanks, man, blah, blah, blah. We fast forward, that's when you did your retirement, it was like your retirement circuit thing where you go to Richmond and you're gonna do some laps and you go, hey, down in Richmond, Washington, that's where we had our training camp. Dale DMs me again and goes, hey, I'm gonna be at the Richmond track. I'm putting you on a list. It's like you, Ryan Kerrigan, Kirk Cousins, like the big name guys, but he was like, I just want you to know you're on that list, so you need to tell somebody that you're on the list because I want you to come to the track. And I'm thinking, riding the car with Dale Jr.? I don't, I'm in the car. I can't see the damage. 
I drive away, come down pit road, they cut and carry on, and I don't know this, but they've cut the whole right front off the car. There's nothing but a tire. And so I'm So wait, 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 wait. What did you tell me today about listening to me? What was the statement? I don't listen to every word that comes out of your mouth. This night at Richmond would have been a perfect example because I explained exactly the damage that was on this race car. (laughs) I go out there and I'm racing and I'm like having, my car's good. And so I'm catching people and I'm trying to bump them. And he's like, quit it. You don't have a bumper. (laughs) Quit doing that. You're going to knock the radiator out of it. I'm like, what? There's no bumper? There's no bumper. (laughs) So... We somehow make it into the playoffs. <laughs> this is what happened. He stops on pit road like everything's fine. He gets out. He turns around and looks at the front of the car. He goes, holy <laughs> You should have told me it looked like that. <laughs> I said, we did multiple times, but you didn't yeah. want to hear us. So I mean, he, he can get mouthy with the best of them, Steve. Yeah. Like he, he, I throw a good bird. Amy and I have even talked about the show, and we even have a title for it. What is it? I'm not telling you. Why not? Are people coming up to you and saying, hey, man, I appreciate the information, or <laughs> I hate you, I wish I'd never listened to that show, I lost 10 bucks? What you, are they saying to you? Well, you can tell by the pace of my walking what they're saying. If I'm walking really slow, they're man, winning, <laughs> these some, are good ideas. Good. But if I, you know, if the pace starts picking up, it's because somebody's chirping about a bad pick. For those of you that don't know, I broke my back uh, on my 30th birthday. <laughs> on your 30th birthday? Yeah. So What were you doing racing? On your 30th birthday. Being a f***ing idiot. Why weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you like, should have been at Old Red. I, call, I think De- Denny's sort of the new villain of the sport. And and because another driver is no longer the villain. Our podcast is on a Dale Jr. themed bus. The 8 bus. That's we had right. Dale on and it was a that one right there. Yeah. That we was had like, Dale on. That was by coincidence too like you didn't go find that bus found yeah you. it was yeah it was out in a parking lot over in wedgwood houston just in an uh, abandoned parking lot just sitting back there we paid two grand for it flipped into a studio <laughs> so we were doing this podcast on this dale in our bus we just wrapped it for the first time when are you gonna get the damn thing where it runs the motor hadn't ran in that thing since you bought it so like y'all literally they have to tow truck this thing everywhere they go <laughs> is that right it was just over at the it's, barstool bar yeah. just opened up it was sitting out front like this hey, we thing, gotta get towed. This thing needs to run, man. We tried getting it to run, but they said like we needed a new chassis, like a fire truck chassis. Parts are obsolete, so it costs like eighty grand to get it going. I can't believe that. Unless you got something in your backyard. Somebody's I mean, you trying are, to rip you off, man. I can get are, that Dale thing Jr. running. We know a couple boys back hey, in the hey, shop that'll yeah, get that man. thing running. It costs no money. But they <laughs> we, hey, we we're can gonna get it towed to you guys. We're gonna start a fund tonight. Go fund me. We'll get that bus running. Uh, hey, I ain't driving tonight. Hey, I got his ass back. I mean, damn, we he can got all him forget back. about it. Um, <laughs> I do. I think it's. Wait a sec. When'd you get him back? The next time I went to Richmond. Richmond. Sent him into one. Backed it in the wall. People local in Nashville, not a whole lot. They'll go out on Broadway unless the you know the big events are coming to town. Yeah. Like CMA Fest Which, or your podcast. Check out Dirty Mo Media on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram.